Hi, I'm Denisha. And I'm Winston. We're so glad you're with us today. We're learning about something very powerful today. Oh, 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 what is it? A trash truck? A rocket? Or a superhero? Those are very powerful things, but we're learning about something even more powerful. What could be more powerful than those things? The Holy Spirit. Well, the Holy Spirit is the special helper that God sent us. He gives us strength to share God's love with others and helps us to make the right choices. Wow, the Holy Spirit does sound really powerful. Can the Holy Spirit give me power too? Absolutely. When we choose to believe in Jesus, he gives us the Holy Spirit to be our helper. That makes me so excited. I just want to dance around. That's a good idea. How about we do that together? Really? Yeah, let's all stand up and sing a song to God. All right. This song is called, I Know I Belong. It's about how when we belong in God's family, He gives us great power to do amazing things. So we're gonna start out by singing, your love, your love is worth living for. Let's sing it out together. Here we go. Your love, your love is worth living for. Your grace paid my way. Your mercy gives me the power to forgive like you forget. I'll stand, I'll stand when it's hard, Lord. I have all I need. I have all I need in you. We're gonna sing, I know I belong. I know I belong, I know I belong to you. Let's sing that out again. I know I belong. I know I belong, I know I belong. All right, you guys, sing out, I know I belong. I know I belong, I know I belong to you. And one more time, as loud as you can. I know I belong. I'll stand, I'll stand when it's hard, Lord. So let's all stomp our feet together. You guys ready? Here we go. Good job, you guys, singing that song. That was so great. You can all sit down now. I love that song, and I love singing to God, too. Me, too. But, Denisha, can yeah. you tell me more about the Holy Spirit? Sure. What do you want to know? Everything. Okay. <laughs> well, there is some place we can look to learn about the Holy Spirit. Where? The park? Or the backyard? Please tell me, and I'm going to go look. You can look in God's special book. Oh, uh, the Bible? Mm hmm Yeah, the Bible tells us all about the Holy Spirit, and we can learn about what the Holy Spirit is like through the stories in the Bible. Can we do that now? Sure. Let's all put on our listening ears. Got them. And our thinking caps. Got it. And let's watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya! So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. 
the Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, hear this? They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Oh, thank you. They help those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worship together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. That's great, Winston. But I do have a question for you. Mm -hmm. How do you know that we get the power of the Holy Spirit? Well, because Jesus said so. He did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Acts 1-8, Jesus said, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Oh, neat! But what are we supposed to do with that power? Jesus answered that question too, Winston. Jesus said, and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere. Oh, so the Holy Spirit gives us the power to tell other people about God? That's great! But, um, how am I going to remember all this? I have an idea. Let's sing a song about the verse. Oh, okay! Friends, stand up with us! And let's sing Acts 1-8. Woohoo! Let's sing Acts 1-8 together, you guys. We're going to start by moving around like this, and then we're going to clap our hands. You ready? All right, now this song is all about how God gave us the Holy Spirit. And when he did that, we got great power. Let's start by singing, you will receive power. everywhere 
as loud as you can. Everywhere. Acts 1-8, sing it out. Acts 1-8. you guys know we're gonna get down really low can you guys go down really really low good job now let's bring it up and everyone let's jump and let me see you dancing good job let's sing but you will receive power you can. Great job learning that verse.